What's up, man? 25 Gamers, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to give you the top five tips to stop the run in Madden 25. The number five tip that we're going to be talking about is pass commit. Guys, pass commit is a little bit of a uh, of an opportunity for you to get involved with your uh, with your with your game. And, and what it does is basically, as far as the passing game goes, if they call play action play, your guys won't overplay. Um, but if they if they if they call a running play, here's what happens. And this is why we pass commit when we want to stop the run. When we pass commit, you'll see here that they go to a little bit more of the, of the play. The play runs as it should run, and they just they just go to their spots versus having to react against the run. So let's watch what happens here. See, we pass commit. We get a really nice edge sealed on that outside and stop the strong power run. So that's the number one tip. Uh, that's one of the, that's our number five tip in how to stop the run in Madden 25. Um, number four tip in how to stop the run is blitz your linebackers. You don't have to blitz all of your linebackers, but blitzing one or two of your linebackers does a really nice job at stopping the run. Here we're going to take a look at the OLB blitz, and uh, we're going to show you how we like to use it to stop um, something like a halfback off tackle or uh, a zone weak or something. If I could find the strong close, we'll show you this. So the halfback force. What we like to do with this is we like to, obviously, we want to pass commit. We've got our safety, and we're just going to use our control. We're going to set the edge. You see how these linebackers really do a nice job at setting the edge and forces Adrian Peterson back inside into our user defender and the rest of our game. So blitzing some linebackers is very effective for stopping the run in Madden 25. It allows us to get in good positive situations, and it's going to contain the run very well. Number three on our list is use flat zones. Guys, we like to use flat zones uh, with our safeties. If they're in purple zones, uh, they're not quite as good as in powerful, but when they're in flat zones, guys, you'll see here, this is going to do a really nice job at stopping this halfback off tackle because those flat zones are going to shoot to the outside, force it to kind of contain it back to the inside, back to the rest of our defense. So let's take a look at this one more time. Here, we're going to get our flat zone on. We're using it over here. We're just going to muddy up the angles, and you see that the flat zones and stuff is going to contain the run very well. Um, our number two tip on how to stop the run in Madden 25 is set the edge. Guys, in Madden 25, it is very difficult for the p opponent to have to consistently run inside. And so when we're doing something like this, let's take a look here. We're going to look at the Trio Sky Zone run defense, and we're going to set the edge with the safety here. Kev, uh, Hayden here is going to, I'm going to just shoot him out to the outside as soon as the ball is snapped. So watch what happens here. I'm going to shoot him out, get him wide, get him wide, get him wide. I force the run back inside, back to all of my defenders to stop the run. Hopefully you guys are seeing now uh, what I'm trying to get at with all of these tips. we got to set the edge. You've got to get outside, get outside, get outside, set the run back inside, and you see that it does a really nice job of containing the run to the outside. And then guys, lastly, the number one tip for stopping the run in Madden 25 is get the safety involved. If, they're, if you're not playing things like the inverted cover two or things like that that can potentially help you out tremendously at stopping the run in Madden 25, uh, you're really missing out and you're really gonna be struggling a lot. Uh, one of the things that I try to stress in my run defenses is the inverted cover two because what it does is it allows you to get your safety involved in the run defense so let's take a look here at inverted cover two you see how we have the invert we have the flat zone on that side and now we are free to roam with the safety come up in the box and make a tackle you have to have eight in the box consistently if you're going to stop the run in Madden 25 it's just a fact it is what it is you can get back you can play user control you need to take an extra mile you need to burn a calorie and you need to get down in that box and start muddying up the run are you going to completely cage the run no you're not Madden 25 it's very easy to run the ball we've talked about this all season long guys it, it is very easy to run the ball in Madden 25 but when you get the safeties involved it's a lot harder than it was watch what happens if I don't get the safety involved so here I'm going to just run the play and the same exact setup that you just saw me stop the run on, I'm going to run the play, and I'm not going to get the safety involved. And watch what's going to happen. They're going to get yardage on the outside, and now they're going to get a lot more yardage than they got in the previous play. We'll take, we'll show you this one more time. 
But watch this. Watch how they can easily tell. It's an easy read when the safety's not involved because you're not balanced across the board. They win in the numbers game. It's all about a numbers game in Madden for the most part. When you have guys in the box, when you get the safety involved and you bring him down, you got press coverage on the outside, you've essentially got, in this situation, we've essentially got a 10-man box because we've got the safety in the box. Here they run to the right. We blow it up, and now we muddy it up, and we give our guys the opportunity to tackle. It's very simple. At the same time, it's also very complex. But again, you have to do something. And one thing you can do right now to improve your run defense in Madden 25 is easily, the easiest thing you can do is get the safety involved. So let's recap our top five tips. We talked about pass committing. We talked about blitzing our linebackers. We've talked about setting the edge. And we've talked about uh, using flat zones. And then the most important in my mind is get your safety involved. Don't just use your defensive tackle and expect you're going to be okay. You have to bring guys up in the box. You have to muddy it up. And you have to force that run to be contained. So I hope that this video provided the top five tips, in my opinion, to get the run stopped. If you like this video or appreciate some of the videos I've been doing recently, uh, you might consider following me on Twitter and staying up to date with me on there where I release a couple of things every day. You might consider following me on my blog sites. All those links are in the description where I write posts up so if you don't like listening to me talk, you can read it. Or you might just consider subscribing to my YouTube channel because that's where I put out every video. I put out four videos a day to try to get you better at Madden 25. So guys, once again, I hope that this video provided some value to you. And if it did, if you would do one of those three things, if you would subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, or just subscribe to one of my blog sites on Medium or Blogger.com, you can get engaged with me outside of YouTube. Check me out, guys. I've got a lot of tips coming soon. I really appreciate all the support I've gotten lately, and we'll talk to you guys soon.